everybody. Welcome back to the Tech Tomorrow YouTube channel. I'm Elric, your host. And unless you've been somewhere else, you guys all know that the new Apple iPhone 5 has been released to the market and it features its new mysterious design, new A6 processor. Now the A6 processor is something totally different that nobody else in the market is using. It's basically ARM on a chip, but built all the way from the ground up from the people over at Apple. Now, with that said, most of the phones out there that you buy in the market either have one of two different types of things that are in them to power them. They either feature ARM's Cortex-A9, which is NVIDIA and a few others, or they use the Qualcomm Crate. Now, that means that no matter what phone you buy out there, they're going to feature one of those two processors in it. The new Apple A6, however, is based on an entire different process built from the ground up from the people over at Apple. Now, today we're going to run two different tests. We're going to run Geekbench and Speed Test, and we're going to show the new Apple i5 against a bunch of others on the market, including the new Galaxy S3. So with that said, let's jump in and let's see how the new Apple 5 fares against the competition. Geekbench is a processor benchmark which tests the basic components of a phone system. Here you can see the iPhone 5 against others of its kind. Next up, we see speed test. This shows how fast your phone connects to the internet and how quickly it will be working when you're downloading and using stuff. All right, everybody. So you guys can see from those two tests that the new Apple i5 surely seems to be the fastest handheld component you can currently buy in the USA. Now, I know there's a lot of different tests out there, a lot of different things out there. The screen on the Galaxy S3 is a little bit bigger. It has, I think, like 26% more pixels on the screen. But I'll be showing some tests of those in the futures where it still shows that the Apple i5 blazes there as well. But for now, you can see in both Geekbench and speed test that the new Apple i5 really, really does kick some serious ass and the new A6 processor seems to be a solid component for the people over at Apple. I'm not the smartest phone guy in the world and to let you guys know I'm actually currently looking to find a phone guy. So if you're a guy out there and you think that you know a lot about phones and would like to join the team over here at Tech with Tomorrow, contact me because I'd really like to have a phone guy who knows a lot more about phones than me. I basically just use mine for making phone calls and a couple different games, but it'd be nice to have somebody on the channel who really knew their stuff really well. So with that said, I'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow, tomorrow.